Welcome back to Coffee for Two. Today, we're going to take you guys and gals through a step-by-step -step process on how to use the AeroPress. Well, it makes about two espresso sizes of coffee. Okay. That's a good thing, so if you're having coffee with two people, one squeeze of the AeroPress will get you two cups. Yes. With espresso, that's usually about all you need. It's just a tiny little cup. That's about, that's about all you need of an espresso, which is what an AeroPress uses. It uses a fine ground coffee or espresso. This is the last of the El Salvador that was purchased from Atlas Coffee Club. This one is by far one of my most favorite from that group. And after all this time, two months of that out in the open, it still smells really good. Yeah. We have another option here if we wanted to go more um, store traditional, which this is actually a really good brand. A lot of people really like this as a quick espresso buy. All right, the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is the cups you're going to use. You're going to need to get some warm water. Um, online, it says about 250 degrees. But I feel that if we go 250 degrees, you're going to get, it's going to get colder before you can really soak your beans and get it to your mouth. I don't recommend anything over 375. Um, so about there is a really good temperature for it. You're also going to need uh, another cup to catch it in. This is just a little tea pitcher that I got for brewing single cups. This one's a bigger one. So I'm just using stuff that we have. Normally, when you purchase an AeroPress, you get all of these items in front of me. You have the actual AeroPress coffee maker, you get a scoop, you get the stir stick, you get a funnel, and these are the filters that it uses. So how you put it together is you take your filter and you make sure you only have one. That is very helpful. And you put it in the bottom all right, so once you get the filter in your strainer, you attach it to the bottom of the AeroPress maker, and then it just locks into place there. Okay, once that's done, you wanna take the um, press out and insert the um, funnel. I like to have it over the little pitcher I'm catching the coffee in already. It just makes it easier. For the purpose of just having to get rid of the El Salvador, I think we will use it today over the... Um... All right, so take a good heaping spoonful of your coffee and just dump it right in the funnel towards the bottom of it. Since that wasn't a good heaping spoonful because I have it in a tiny bowl here. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Next, a good thing to do is just make sure it's even. If you wanted to prep the AeroPress machine, you can get it and the filter wet. Rinse it out with some warm water quickly. It preps the machine, it gets rid of the plastic and the paper taste. We're not doing that today. All right, the next step is one that moves super quickly. This is where everything gets really fast. So you wanna pour your water in, and this time actually starts now. So you wanna get it really good and full. You have the marks on the side right here, and you wanna use the stick to stir. that to the side. Now you insert your plunger and you push down. And just push it really good. Make sure you get all that air out. You'll feel the resistance. Make sure you get all the water out too. And it'll stop dripping. It stops dripping fairly quickly. 
end. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit, but once it's dry, you can unscrew the bottom insert and you can just dump out the filter and the coffee grounds in the trash and this, this in the sink and wash it all up. Very easy cleanup, very easy to use. All right, so now we're sitting back down. We have this delicious brew in front of us. And for those of you out there that didn't see it, the process literally takes one minute. From start to finish, 60 seconds, you can have yourself a cup of joe. Impressive. This whole system was invented in 2005 by the president of the AeroPress company. You can pick an AeroPress up between $20 and $30, depending on where you go. And I'm sure you can probably hit up a garage sale and get it for $10. It's not that bad of a deal. Uh, and it makes really good coffee. The whole filtration process is similar to the French press and it's also similar to an espresso machine. Yes. Yes. There are a little bit of differences, specifically it's not electronic. There's no electronics, so you could take this on a vacation, you can take this camping. Yes, Starbucks online even said that they recommend sometimes a medium grind as well. I wouldn't do that because to me it defeats the purpose and make it harder to push. But they said that it is really good for vacation and travel. One, and if you'll show them the press. Oh, okay. This is a French press. As you can tell, it's way different than an air press machine. And it's also not electronic, like I said. I forgot. Well, an espresso machine, which is here behind, behind us, is electronic. The French press is not. This is the same same method. It takes a little bit longer to. Um, to make you don't have it within seconds it takes a little like five minutes maybe it has a longer process so with the fresh press you put the grounds in the bottom you fill it up with the warm water you stir it the same way you don't have to rush though you have to rush because it's coming out of the bottom of an arrow press machine oh. don't have to rush with this but you do just set this in there and you press down. On a later video, we'll give you a more in-depth review and setup of how to use a French press. For Coffee for Two, we hope you've liked this instructional video. Have a blessed day.